What up, existentialists? It's aspiring existentialist, Caden Masterson. And I'm aspiring existentialist, Justin Bartlett. And we're here to teach you why the other will not let you live fully authentically. So first deal of business, we have to explain what is living authentically and what is the other. So I'm gonna explain what living authentically is. And that basically means that you're not influenced by any sort of outside structure, whether it be a social construct, political views, you know, neighbors, friends, family, everything that everything is original to you and you are not influenced by anything other than what you want to think, do and act upon. The other in terms of existentialists is any person that is affecting your conscious. So this can be someone sitting in a room looking at you or just anyone in your presence. As long as they are near you or around you, it is affecting you. That is the other. Our argument here is that it is impossible to live fully authentically while being surrounded by the other. And we are fully surrounded by the other at all times as we live with other people. One prime example of this would be significant others. Most people have or have had a significant other at some point in their lives. And to live with a significant other or to work with one, you have to conform. Uh, you know, that comes in the forms of compromising. You have to compromise in a relationship to make it work. If your significant other asks for a favor and you don't want to do it, authentically you would say no, but that's not always the case because that's, that's how relationships are built. You have to work off of one another work off of each other and compromise to to come to some common ground and that is not living fully authentically therefore if you've been in a relationship you are most likely not authentic here's a physical example of what we mean Hey, what you doing, bro? Uh, nothing. For real? Yeah, nothing at all. You see, what happened in that scenario was I was looking out of the peephole in the door. That was me living fully authentically. I was not conscious about myself in that scenario. Masterson came in, and then my whole way of thinking was changed. I started worrying about what I was doing, what I looked like to him in his view. This is an example of how the other makes us think differently. He makes us not want to live authentically because we're now not focused on ourselves and our own being, but more focused on what we look like to them instead of what we think in our own heads and what we think we, we are doing to ourselves. So for this topic, our target audience is college students and young adults. And we want to look at these specifically because as we're going through these new times and different times, you know, us being freshmen coming into college, having, you know, multiple different types of influences and people surrounding us, we need to put a focus on trying to live as authentically as possible. We understand that it is, it is impossible to live authentically, but we do believe there's an importance to living as authentically as possible. And also for any older students, you know, going into starting to graduate school and getting a real job, you're now again going to be switching into a whole different phase of life with completely different influences or the other, if you will, out there for you. And it's just important to realize that you are not always going to be fully authentic, but the importance to try to live as authentically as possible is it's very important.